Very few places on Earth can make you feel like you're on another planet. This is one of them. The volcanic activity exhibited in the geyser basins of Yellowstone National Park allow you to see, feel, and hear the Earth coming to life around you. Oh yeah, and it stinks too. They call this the dragon's mouth. I call it memories of sharing a room with my brother. Take a big deep breath of that. Well, if this doesn't tell you that you're standing in the middle of a huge super volcano, I don't know what would. There are four kinds of geothermal features in Yellowstone. Hot springs, mud pots, fumaroles, and of course, everyone's favorite, geysers. Geysers are located in areas called basins, and in Yellowstone, there are nine of them. We're gonna take a look at a couple of my favorites first, the Norris Basin. Its otherworldly landscape brings people here from all over the world to marvel at the power of nature to create beauty. I have to say, this is as close to walking on the surface of another planet that an earthling like me is ever gonna have. It's alive. All this geothermal activity is caused by the Yellowstone hotspot. This red bulge you see here is magma, and the area above it is Yellowstone. This magma chamber is huge, check it out. This tiny green rectangle is Yellowstone in western Wyoming, and that big yellow mass that looks like a sweet potato is hot, boiling pressure looking for a way out. And this is it. This is Upper Basin, home of the famous Old Faithful, so named because you can nearly set your watch by when it erupts. Some of the most dramatic geysers in the world are here at Upper Basin, and you may want to wear a raincoat to watch some of these big boys go off. This is what I love when you can get right up close to one of these fumaroles. You can uh, feel it, you can smell it. Ooh, there it comes right at you. Ooh. Oh. Smells like I had something bad to eat for dinner. Not too many things can top hanging out inside the caldera of a supervolcano and it's easy to appreciate the one-of-a-kind beauty that convinced Teddy Roosevelt to declare Yellowstone America's first national park. But is it even possible to describe what all this geothermal activity creates with all those minerals it brings up to the surface without Googling synonyms for natural beauty? I don't think so. So I'll just say the grandeur and the splendor in these diverse landscapes are enjoyed by all creatures, great and small. Mother Nature always gets it right. <laughs>